I have always wished, I mean, I have always hoped that we, people who used to handle government secrets during the 90s or during Kanu's days, can come up and uh, tell the truth. Tell the truth. We were taught that uh, telling the truth, I mean, writing uh, or coming up with an, a view on what happened, we were trained that uh, we should have not few people and not many people. For example, if you have three or less, those are very few. But if you have 12 or more, then those are too many people. So if you have a statement from 12 or more people, you may find that uh, because there are many, they may uh, mislead you. But if you have the ideal number of having witnesses tell you what happened, independent witnesses, in fact, they should not even know each other. Uh, it is recommended that they be between five and nine, and especially odd number, because when you have one or more uh, views, you use the odd, uh, with, with, if it is an odd number, they may, you will find that one version has more people than the other. I am for the idea that we who used to handle uh, top secret, that is TS, should come out and disclose uh, certain events. But I may have noticed that the few of us who are coming out, we are not being very sincere. I think, um, I believe that uh, lying is telling something that you do not believe in. I may tell you something which later comes out to be factually untrue. But uh, to me, I believe such a person, since the person gave out evidence in good faith, then we do not say that uh, he or she was lying. But if you give evidence, or if you give a narration of something, which you know that it did not happen the way you are saying, then you are lying. Uh, it is always good to, be, to say in what you believe in, uh, other than... Uh, I know some people who try to hide things because they try to hide uh, the part that they have played which is wrong, or the parts that their colleagues have done, or, and, or friends or even relatives, so that you, you, okay, you tell the truth, but uh, when it comes to mentioning myself or maybe mentioning my, my colleagues who are either my friends, relatives, or even mentors, I try to hide that. That is the unfortunate thing. Or even trying to play hero. I've seen cases where somebody else has done something, and then you come up and say, it is me who did so is unfair. But uh, today I just wanted to highlight two instances where two inspectors of police have deliberately cheated. I want to start with uh, uh, Uluchiri Wajakoya. Uluchiri Wajakoya recently talked to a public meeting in Kamkunji, Nairobi, where he said that were it not for Smith Hempson and uh, Baba, by Baba, he meant Raila. Uh, there was plans to kill Luchiri Wajakoya, uh, but he was saved by Raila and Smith Hempstone. The information I have, of course, I cannot know more than the person who himself was there. I would be cheating. But the information I have is that uh, he was assisted by the British High Commission then stationed at Bruce House near GPO. But uh, he says it is Smith Thompson. Uh, I don't want to enter into an argument on an issue that is neither here and there because uh, those days ambassadors from Western countries did uh, operate together. And again, 
what is the difference, whether it was Smithamson or the British High Commission. But I want to talk about the instance where he's saying that uh, Raila saved him. Uh, it is now over 30 years, so some things do, do usually get out of hand. But uh, when uh, I want to take my viewer to the place when Wajakoya fled the country. Uh, around that time is when Raila was released from detention. So I cannot pinpoint whether uh, when Wajakoya ran away, Raila was still in detention in committee, or when Raila came out, the first thing he did was to wear a dress like a nun and be smuggled through uh, Lake Victoria. Now, I remember there was a roadblock where Catholic fathers were escorting Raila and Raila was dressed uh, and they looked at him and you see, when a police look at you twice or thrice and you, he only took up but the police were respected the church so much that they did not look twice to know that the so-called nun was a man and he was the most wanted man. And then he ran to Uganda. From Uganda he went to Norwegian countries. Uh, so I don't see how Raila would have saved uh, Wajakoya's life. In fact, the opposite would have been better. So I think uh, Wajakoya was an inspector like me and he was cheating. And then we come to this inspector who was the inspector when uh, President Jomo Kenyatta died. I don't know his name, but he was the duty officer at uh, police headquarters. He claims in, an, in a television interview that uh, he rang the Air Force commander and instructed the Air Force commander to go all the way to Mombasa to collect uh, President Kenyatta's uh, body. Uh, and he says that when he instructed uh, left and full Colonel, Colonel uh, Kishuru, Colonel Kishuru told him what rank are you, I'm an inspector, and he said when did the inspector give a Colonel instructions. Recently, much, much later, Colonel uh, Ishuru said that uh, he had received uh, instructions from the ADC, who was a rank below him, that he was wanted in Mombasa because of uh, uh, the president had died. Well, a can, an, an ADC, who was a, who was a lieutenant colonel, or today a, uh, an ADC is a full colonel, he has more powers than a brigadier in the field because he's just behind the commander-in-chief. So I tend to believe the issues of uh, Major General Retired Gishuru because and this inspector wants to tell us that uh, there was no way the ADC or State House in Mombasa could communicate. You see, when Kenyatta was dying, he was the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. So you're telling me that State House Mombasa to communicate with the Army Commander, State House Mombasa to communicate with the Air Force Commander was to go to through the, vig the Vigilance House. It's a white lie. I beg my fellow uh, security officers who were there during canoe days, the country relies on you to tell the truth on what happened. But if you deliberately uh, cheat or lie, uh, that is bad. Personally, I am not a saint. Personally, I do not know everything. Personally, I'm forgetting a lot of things as time goes on. But let us have as many security officers who are there telling their story so that whoever can read can now make an amalgamated, a proper, well-informed, relied upon information to come up with a good picture. The country needs the truth. And the, we do, the country does not need us as heroes. The country, or if you want to be a hero, I also want to be a hero, but come out with the truth so that the country can now use your truth to classify you as a hero. You cook a story, somebody out there is seeing.